Elizabeth Osborne, and I, uh, an artist, painter. I uh, have three pieces in the collection of your museum, I should say, Delaware Art Museum, which uh, has been a, a wonderful uh, supporter of my work and uh, has a, a beautiful collection. My primary medium is at, at the present is oils, uh, oil painting on canvas and, and on bo museum board. Although I, I, I do a lot of watercolors as well, and especially when I'm traveling, I have piles of sketchbooks, which I can show you. And, uh, and I love that medium. Uh, and I use often the watercolors for studies for my paintings. Um, I use acrylic as well, which is a water-based medium, and, and sometimes I can use the both together. Um, I, I draw as well, but I'd, I'd say more, more painting right now than drawing. I used to draw a lot from the model because I went to the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts and I taught there. I'm digressing a little, but I did teach there for 50 years and the Academy is known for its interest in figurative work with the, the great artists of Aikens and uh, history of very distinguished uh, figurative painters. He's sort of the, the star, I would say. Um, anyway, I did teach there and we, I taught figurative, I taught you know, drawing from the model and, and then painting, figurative painting. And then later on, actually for a good 20, 25 years there, I was a critic, which meant that I went around to the private studios of the third and fourth year students. They all, not all, but the ones that competed and were able to to be assigned a studio, had private rooms where they painted, which was a great gift for them, the peaks. And that was very interesting for me because uh, there was such a range of work and skill and and you had a dialogue with this young person. Well, they were all ages. The academy had students from 18 to 80, which was also, I thought, interesting. And some people had had distinguished careers as doctors and lawyers or whatever, and then they decided they wanted to become, or be artists full time. So we had quite an interesting range of students to work with. This, this is my working wall, I would say. I swear, if you can see the marks on, on the wall. We moved here 25 years ago uh, because before I lived here, before we lived here, I would commute to a separate studio from another living place. And I decided I had enough time wasting time running back and forth. And it took, took a while to find this wonderful building. It's a house, double house is what it is. And, and when I saw it, first day I saw it, I said, this is what I've been looking for because this was a big, open space. Actually, the painting I'm sitting in front of is a little bit unusual. For, I, I think I got a reputation for doing a lot of landscapes because I, I just enjoyed working from the study, the watercolor studies, and doing landscape. It just somehow it was uh, a natural for me to explore different palettes and different brush marks, and it was a uh, I have one or two, some figurative work, I can pull out a few, but and this is unusual too because it's sort of a studio interior, which I'm still working on, and uh, I just decided to, you know, leave the landscape alone for a little while. Um, and I've also worked, I've looked at abstraction, I've always admired it, and some of my work is abstract, but, you know, it's just like this one, and... Uh, this over here, which I'm still working on, and both of the, all of these. And most of the things you see on the walls I'm working on um, or else I'll take, like, as an example, this is a, a 
site study, meaning you know, you're out there. This is actually from, I think, New Mexico. And you're sitting on a rock doing a painting, you know. And, and then I'll sometimes take these, you know, bring them back, and sometimes I will do larger works from them. That's it. I painted mostly in, if I'm out there in the landscape, in Maine and in New Mexico. Not as, not as much in Pennsylvania. I used to go out with Lou Sloan, who was a very close friend and a faculty member at the academy. And Lou and I would go out landscape painting, but, well, most of my work, uh, you know, like this is very typical. This would be a little, you can see this mane of those trees and sitting by a pond up there painting. And usually they're on a wood panel. And uh, then if I, you know, liked it well enough to go larger, I would do a larger painting from them. I was uh, fortunate in starting, I guess it was in the early 70s or middle 70s, to, uh, I had been showing in New York for a while, I'd been mostly my watercolors up at Fishback, and, and then I also was showing at Locks Gallery at the same time, which is still here over on uh, 600 block of, uh, of Washington Square. And, and um, I, I sort of alternated shows between New York and, and Locks Gallery um, for many years. And then <clears throat> finally I, I left Fishback. They moved and there was a change of ownership and I just decided to move everything over to Locks, which I've enjoyed and they've been great to work with. COVID effect on me, in terms of my work, I've been able to just do what I, you know, walk from upstairs down here and work. Luckily, I, I, nothing has disrupted my studio. I, it's disrupted my income from locks not having to close down and, and I think allow maybe 10 people or 20 people a day or some ridiculous amount. They, they have to get reservations or whatever to go in there. And that's been since March, which is not great. It's, uh, it's affected their sales. But you do, you do have to see people and people would come here to visit me and I miss the, the dialogue. I really miss that. And I've I had many students. My go-to helpers are always academy students. I would just pick up the phone and say, okay, I need somebody to do this, stretch a canvas or whatever I need. And they'd send me, because there were always students wanting work. And that's been more difficult. Some of them, like one guy that I used to use a lot, just won't, wouldn't go out. He said, I, I'm sorry, but I, he lives in West Philadelphia and he didn't want to take a bus and whatever he had to take. He said, I, I'm not going to go out. And that was hard, so I got, had to get somebody else. But, um, it'll end eventually, but uh, it's, been a, it's been hard in that regard. I, Somebody, one of my collectors said that to me. They said, maybe you should do a painting that's related to this. And I've thought about it, uh, but I haven't. I, I, uh, haven't. Um, I look at Facebook and I see you know, it's what younger artists are doing, or friends. A lot of people like posting. I don't post my work on Facebook, except if I have a show. Then I'll post something. Other than that, I, for some reason, I don't, I just don't do it. I don't, I kind of like to wait till the show's up and then let people see what I'm doing. So COVID and, and I'm lucky because I, you know, I just can walk downstairs and work come down at night and look at the work and 
thank God I can do that. And, and, and if I get restless, I can go up on my roof to see the sky. <laughs> and I do go to the dog park. That's the only place I've been going, which is about two blocks from here. And Ramsey loves it, you know, he can run free with other dogs. So he's uh, fortunate that hasn't changed his life much.